It all started as a get-together at Battleship Park in Wilmington, North Carolina, to take a group photo to document the residents that are affected by film. We need to move the tape. Even with a storm coming from the south, hundreds of people gathered in front of set photographer Brownie Harris, who is ready to capture the event. Everybody look at the camera. Well, I'm very proud of it. Um, I think that being in the industry and these people represent just part of the 4,200 crew members in North Carolina. At first, the group picture was planned as a thank you. Well, the Sleepy Hollow crew called me for lo uh, location people and they set all this up and they had an idea about using this as uh, a thank you and now I, it might be something else. Is everybody in that wants to be in? Are you going to come on, come on. Okay, okay, here we go. Everybody wave. The whole day was bittersweet for Under the Dome crew member Sean O'Rourke. Honestly, uh, today it was nice to see everyone together, but at the same time, it's, it's a little sad uh, because it could be for a lot of us the last time we all get to see each other. NC NC Before it was all over, the still picture event turned into a full-blown NC film rally. NC 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 Wilmington Mayor Bill Sappho is one of the North Carolina film industry's largest supporters. People don't understand the industry. They don't take the time to come down here and see the permanent workers. They keep saying temporary workers, temporary jobs. These are not temporary workers and temporary jobs. These are permanent workers, permanent jobs, and jobs that have been in this state for many, many years. And tremendous amount of investment has been made in this state. To say those, make, make those kind of comments, obviously those folks don't know what they're talking about. Veteran unit production manager Chris Bromley was there to be a part of the event. He's worked on such projects as The Conjuring, Tammy, Red Zone, and now The Choice, which has brought in over $100 million to North Carolina alone. He believes there's still unfinished business in Raleigh. In regards to people that uh, are, are discussing the fact that, that uh, the incentive is over in the state of North Carolina, I think that's a sentiment that has been kind of played up somewhat in the media. But when you look into the existing um, state of affairs in the North Carolina General Assembly, you know, they dismissed uh, signed I, uh, which means they still have issues to come back and complete before they come in. So technically, no, it's not over. NC Phil! NC Phil! We've been, we've been down before and we've come back and we've rallied before. So it's not to say that that can't happen again. Um, we're all optimistic, cautiously optimistic as we move forward and um, hope that they'll see the light and uh, fix the damage that they've done. Wilmington has celebrated over 30 years of continuous filmmaking, but the rest of the state has benefited as well. Currently, North Carolina has over 10 projects in pre-production and production across the state, including Asheville, Charlotte, Greensboro, Winston-Salem and their surrounding areas. In Wilmington, North Carolina, Sheila Brothers reporting for WGSR.